To drive the transformations our world needs now, we've seen leaders across government forward cross-sector partnerships with private companies, nonprofits, and entrepreneurs to develop innovative solutions to our most pressing challenges. My friend, CEO Satya Nadella, helps make these partnerships possible. Mr. Nadella is widely recognized as a mission-oriented leader who helps government harness technology for the public good. Please join me in presenting him with the Sammy's 2020 Spirit of Service Award. So Satya, your father was an Indian civil servant. I know that has informed how you look at the idea of public service and the civil service here in the United States. Talk about that experience and how you see things now as an American. No, first of all, thank you for that question, Darren. Absolutely. A lot of his worldview is shaped, even though I work in the private sector, as an institution builder, how he approached his job, how he approached his mission uh, has uh, absolutely informed me. And Darren, what I've come to realize is it takes all of us, civic society, the government and the civil service, the people who build the institutions our democracies depend on, uh, as well as private organizations like ours. We all need each other. I mean, talk about right now, think about it in the pandemic. Uh, what you have really as the last resort is our state institutions coming to rescue, whether it's small businesses or large sectors of our economy that have been badly impacted. Without that, that state institutional strength, we will not have the response nor the recovery. At Microsoft, you have initiated a number of programs and important projects with the government. Talk about some of the things you are most proud of in terms of partnership with the public sector. Working with the public sector, making sure that the latest technology is available to the public sector so that the public sector institutions can innovate on behalf of all the citizens that they serve is probably the biggest calling we have in terms of our own mission. We worked with the CDC even in their AI bot uh, in order to really help people, uh, you know, to basically self-attest uh, and then to go to telemedicine uh, or any any other triage facility. So that ability to create agility and resilience in our public institutions by adapting to the circumstances, using innovative processes, innovative technology, is what I think is just great for our country. When I think back, look at it, uh, if you go back to my claim that you need private sector, civic society, and the government all to function, you don't want any one of these uh, parts of what is a thriving democracy to get behind on the ability to deal with crisis. And that's what I think what we've seen, and that's because of the leadership of our civil servants. So what does getting a FAMI mean to you? First of all, you know, Darren, it's such an honor uh, to be amongst all the people who receive this award. One of the lessons that at least I go back to what my father taught me is it's not about what you achieved uh, during your tenure. It's about the strength that you built during your tenure that makes the institution thrive even more after you leave it. In fact, that's how I look at what my uh, my own work at Microsoft is. And I know every civil servant uh, who works, uh, you know, and comes in and pushes their own institution forward is really th th you know, trying to do, and that's what inspires me. Well, this is a more personal question and observation, Satya. In the wake of the murder of George Floyd and that very, very terrible period, uh, you reached out to me. And I have to say, Satya, that there were uh, any number of uh, CEOs and friends in corporate America I spoke to but none um, approached the conversation with me with more uh, empathy, more compassion, more genuine, authentic uh, sense of grief uh, for what had happened. And also not only a concern for your employees, but a concern for American society and the implications for our democracy. 
And I think that it is very hard to lead during times like this. We need leaders who unite us, who help heal the wounds and help us forge a positive future. And that is the kind of leader you are, Satya. It's why you have been so successful and why you are so admired. What do you hope lies ahead for our country? And what role would you like Microsoft to play in that? First of all, thank you for that. And you sort of captured it in your comments even better than perhaps I could articulate it, which is we have each other and that's all we have. And for our country, what we need is that sort of real empathy for where each of us is coming from and then how we can build that community because without it, each of us is going to be worse off. I always say I'm a product of two amazing American things, right? American technology reaching me where I was growing up, having giving me the ability to dream the American dream. And really the America's enlightened immigration policy allowing me to come here and live that American dream. And so I always am grateful for what America stands for uh, in, in terms of what it can achieve, what it can do for people who come here, people who are born here. And I think that's the other piece, which is it's about all of us. It's not about any one of us. And the more we recognize that, the more we build strength in our communities and in our institutions and in our democracy uh, to recognize that fundamental greatness of the United States, I think we will all be better off. Thank you, Satya, and congratulations on receiving the 2020 Sammy Award. Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you. It's such an honor.